It's time now for a little trip back in time with Elizabeth Laval, president of the Fresno County Historical Society. Elizabeth joins us every month for a look back at history and a look to the future while we create and preserve history right now. And she joins us today with some exciting news about the future of the Fresno County Historical Society archives and yes. Christmas at Kearney, oh, which I'm very excited for. Wonderful. I can't wait for you to get out there. I know. So every year we decide a theme quite early okay. and this year is holiday tales so it's all books yes all stories stories that somebody read to you when you were little and that you read to your children too I love so this. our decorators our community decorators each pick one of the trees that we put on the list and they bring that tree to life and there are some trees there that you will not believe I mean imagine this twas the night before Christmas has a bed with little bears oh, and how little adorable. slippers. How adorable. I mean, it is, the trees are incredible. There are 14 trees. Okay, 14 in total. Yes. And Nutcracker, okay. our oldest one, which is, you know, was written in German in, in 1860. Oh my goodness. I know. And uh, there's just so much to see and so do. So how do we come see the trees? How can we come see Kearney all decorated for Christmas? So we're still running our regular tours, okay. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with the exception of this Saturday because it's our tea party. Oh. And unfortunately, it's already sold out. You gotta get in there early I for know. tea tickets at Kearney. But we uh, also will take group tours okay. still. You can still book your friends and family to come through and walk through the mansion. It's about an hour and a half tour, oh, so okay. it's worth it. And any, are there any other uh, holiday events taking place at Kearney Mansion that we need to know about. We have just finished Santa. Yes. So that was really great. We got to see a lot of kids with our Victorian Santa. And truly, Emily, it's an experience that no parent will ever want to go to the mall again. <laughs> because we let your them... Because Santa's so good. Yes. Well, he's good, but also we let them sit down with the kids. If they, if their kids are a little afraid, yeah. they walk around the mansion first, see the Grinch tree. Sure. And and then come back. So it's very relaxed, and yes. that was really fun. We have our tea, but really the tours are the main thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got to go to the tours mm -hmm. because the trees are incredible, and I love the theme this year of tales. But you've got, um, we're looking forward now, past the new year, yes. into March, yes. the annual gala, and I'm yes. excited for this one. We're going into the 50s now. We are going into the 50s, and it's going to be at our new building, the oh. Fresno Downtown Club. Club, oh, and it exciting. will be bedecked with tiki. Yes. And so it was the 50s that started the tiki movement. Right. And there are, I don't want to use this word, but fanatics for oh, tiki yes. all over the place. Oh, yes. You saw there that we have these mugs that are already made. Oh, okay. They're unique, and it'll be a really fun night. It's March the 22nd. Okay, March 22nd. Yep. Your annual fundraisers are always so fun. We I'm, have a great time. I know. I've been to, I think I went to the, th I've been to the 30s and 40s. The 40s, yeah. And now the 50s, and I yep. love that you went tiki, tiki and not poodle skirt. Right. We, you know, we always try to be different. And yeah. That was a different area of history. Sure. And we're naming it in honor of the Leilani restaurant, oh, which fun. was a very big Fresno. There it is, yeah. Leilani Hideaway on March the 22nd. Those are, uh, that one is one of our cheeky mugs we had made specially. <gasps> I love this. I, I know. It's going to be a lot of fun. I love the Tiki culture. Hula Girls yeah. will be there playing. They're a band from L.A. Yeah. And they'll be live. And we'll have always, we always have surprises. And you know. also another event that you need to get your tickets for early because yes. all of your events always sell out. They do. And it's a great time. Yep. But So you're doing this. You yep. always do the fundraiser so that you can continue to preserve history. That's right. And in your um, Grapevine newsletter this week, you spotlighted some stuff from the archive. Archives. We did. Okay, what did you spot like this this time? Well, we're really talking about now our exhibit that's going to open in February. Okay. And of course, it's Chinese New Year. Oh, yes, yes, yes. One thing people don't know is that we have some incredible, look at some of these photos, incredible, arc, um, just different kinds of deities. Yeah. And so we're partnered with the Chinese Consolidated Benevolent Association. I won't say that fast, <laughs> God. And we're going to put together an exhibit that's never been seen in the valley. And it's all from local 
things. I love They've this. They've been in the archive. You know, Emily, we're yeah. trying so hard to get stuff out of the archives, which is why we bought it. the building. Right. And when the building is done, it'll be about a year. Sure. But people will be able to go in there, see the cat that, oh my gosh, we're 104 years I old. Know. So it's time that everybody in the Valley gets to learn from the people that came here. I know. So we can get eyes on all of the things mm -hmm. that are in the archive. All right. Before we head to break here, we got to talk about uh, your Roots of the Valley yes. Christmas I customs. love this so much. Okay. What'd you talk about in your Christmas, in your uh, Roots of the Valley so segment? So this is, you know, this story was about Christmas customs and how they got to America. Yeah. And just like the country itself. It was from everywhere. Right, there right, was right. some from Germany, some from England, some even from Roman times. Oh, wow. You know, and that became the Christmas. But one of the quick things I want to tell talk about was in 1919, the French had just been saved by the Americans okay. Okay, from World War II. Correct. They wanted to do American Christmas, which was a tree yeah. and Christmas carols and all of that. What they didn't realize was that it had actually come from Germany. Oh. And they could have had it all along, but they wouldn't have wanted it that way. Yeah, they would. So that's called American <laughs> Christmas. I love this. Your newsletter, oh, the Grapevine always has just such great information and stories to sort of root us back into I love where writing we live. It. I know. It's just, yeah. it's such a fun way to sort of reconnect with where you're from or where you're living or, you know, what and back what to here. here. Yeah. That's right. So I love it. If you want to sign up for the Grapevine newsletter, you can. Uh, go to their website. We'll have it online as well. Elizabeth Laval, Merry Christmas. Thank you. Happy we'll see holidays. you in January. Absolutely. 2024. I know, New Year's. I can't believe it. All right, coming up here in Central Valley today, Kiara is looking for her forever home. The Valley Animal Center joins us next to feature this week's adorable, adoptable. We'll be right back.